Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy, Chris with the next. Oh, okay, I'm just being silly. Alright, so yeah, another video here. Keeping this channel very, um, trying to keep it active, trying to keep it going. Like I said, like I said in the previous video, y'all know how YouTube is being on some um, skeezy shit. That's just my word for skeezer. Um, low, low down, dirty, whatever. Because now with my Selena video, I was at the event and they was playing her music, obviously, because it's her, uh, the family approved it, you know, it's her event for the wax figure. And they still tried to get that video blocked worldwide because of the music. On behalf of MEI, um, the Latin company that owns uh, Selena's music and published it. But it was at an event. Anyways, like I said, YouTube is on some, <laughs> on some skeezy shit. And I ain't f here for it. But anyways, keeping this channel active. But I do want to come to talk about everything resurfaced. And I feel like the 90s is a re resurfacing. Now we got Pokemon Go, everybody playing Pokemon. We got some of our sodas coming back. Well, Crystal Pepsi was more of an 80s thing, but still, you know, it's, it's trying to make its little comeback. I don't know how big it's taken off because I don't really see it as much, but yeah, it's making its comeback. What else? What else? What else? We have a lot of things from the 90s, um, but the braids is always. Was, 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 the braids has always been a thing. That's something that's never going out of style. And last but not least, the Brandy and Monica beef. Now y'all know I love me some Brandy. Mo to the E to I wanna be damn. I put that on everything. Um, this is, I love me some Brandy. You know, she made the braids a, a big staple, a, a very popular because somebody told her that she shouldn't be wearing braids and she was like oh no okay i'm about to do it in every style that you could wear in regular hair and then you know i love miss thing Mon uh, monica you know street very raw like she said they was a part of an elite group it was her it was brandy and it was Aaliyah. you know killing stuff and rip shout out to baby girl rest in peace Aaliyah, you know street the sweet the gangster child the princess of um, R&B, you know, we really miss her a lot. And hopefully the Mac thing goes through, and the biopic, and the wax figure thing, because we, <laughs> Aaliyah, man, Aaliyah, she was about to blow up very big. So, uh, you know, I love me some Brandy. I got the Brandy petition going on to get her made into a wax figure. The link will be down below. I think it's at 252. Uh, stars, I know y'all signed the petition. By the end of this year, that should have a thousand. I was barely getting to 500. So, yeah, because um, Brandy's accomplishments, I have two videos up here, you know, showing her accomplishments as well as the, on the uh, petition. So, y'all go ahead and sign that. All right, so the this, um, I guess the beef got reunited where. Monica did a so gone challenge. Somebody asked Brandy she should do it, and she said, Child Bob. So then uh, Monica went on the reel to address the situation. She said she was taking a high road because, you know, the old her would have probably had to, may need to see Brandy. But the, the new her, you know, she's not going to tell her kids to do something that she can't do, which is more than fair enough. And I feel that. And then, yeah, she said it wasn't easy. Like, she's always been vocal about the, uh, kept it tasteful, but very, been very vocal about the situation between her and Brandy. And Brandy, I guess it's the same, what she not saying what's going down. Because Brandy hashtag something saying, we know this a real you. I know the real you. Don't try to fake that positivity. So my thing is, like, what's going on? Because the beef back in the day, they just comparing the two together, you know. Cause they, I mean, they bet on both on different levels, you know. Uh, they, but Aaliyah, they left out because you know Aaliyah was on some other flow, you know, the the sweet girl, 
Well, you know, Brandy always had that, um, you know, sassiness to her. And then, you know, Monica is the street. You know, she very, you know, hood street like Mary J. Blige. So I guess that's why they tried to compare the two. But then Brandy, you know, was more of a brand. So she kind of took off more than Monica. And so then they wanted her, I guess, to feel some type of way about that. But then when they did The Boy Is Mine, and they first met up, that song, of course it couldn't work without anybody else in there. And they got their Grammy together. And um, they both each should have had Grammys for different songs. Like, I feel like Brandy should have got one for Have You Ever. And I feel like Monica should have got one for, you know, for Before You Walk On My Life, uh, For You I Will. Just other songs. But they both do have a Grammy because of that song together, which is good. But what I was hearing from back in the day, they was just saying that Brandy was mad because Monica named her album The Boy's Mind, which was Brandy's song. And then that kind of st- got into it. They got, in- got into it for that. And then when they went to go rehearse the song at the 1996 or 7, um, whichever year that was VMAs, uh, they, Brandy, when they was rehearsing the song, Brandy wanted the song rehearsed another way. Monica felt some type of way. Then Brandy said something slick, and then Monica went over and placed hands on Brandy, and it was a little scuffle. They got broken up. And so, and then you could kind of see that's true because when they, I mean, they, they made up while they was performing. But when you see the um, clip, you could kind of see like, both of their eyes kind of bruised and then, you know, Brandy <laughs> th- throwing attitude. But then at the end, they kind of made up. It was like, whatever. But they never performed the song again live. So then, after then, years passed and then they made up again. And then they came out with another song called Give It All To Me or something. Then we was hearing again that Brandy felt like she had the bigger name. So she had to you know, had her name on the billboard because they was going to go on tour together. So then that fell through. So now we lead to this. And um, my thing is just like, I do want them to come together. Of course, it's not been easy. Of course, you ain't going to be, I love you, you love me, Barney type of love. But, you know, they both are talented. I guess I love me some Brandy. I'm a big Brandy fan. Moesha all the way. Never Say Never. Her first album was... Just albums, you know, she is the vocal bible. And Monica, she can harmonize, harmonize like nobody else. And when I didn't even know she was 14 years old when she was singing Before You Walk Into My Life. Like they had her singing like she had mortgages to pay. Like she had a, a house note. Like she was about to burn the nigga's car up like the way in the exit. But, but that's just the power of somebody who can really sing. Now we don't have that. We don't have real talent nowadays. Now all you gotta do is just have a nice ass and shake it all around and be cute. And the, in the record industry, we'll take care of the rest. So I don't know what pettiness or what is going on or what Brandy ain't revealing or whatever, but I do feel like it needs to be dropped. I do feel like they need to release some more stuff, especially my girl Brandy, because we're trying to get the wax figure thing going, and uh, as well as Monica, because. Cold Red was good, but I feel like it was a start. It, it could be a bigger start or something. A bigger start to something, you know. We losing a lot of our legends, especially this year we had David Bowie, Prince, and then and so forth and so forth. And then his, um, and then what Prince's girl, um, one of the girls from Vanity Six, even though she turned her life to Christ, you know, she lost her life. So we don't be needing none of this um, pettiness. I mean, it does make good entertainment, but at the end of the day, we need some music to rock out to, you know. Because a lot of these kids nowadays is listening to the Brandys and the Monica's from back then. Even Monica's the son said her his favorite song is Why I Love You So Much. And he wasn't even born then, so. Or he was just barely, you know, a kid. I don't know, he wasn't even born then, so. Again, you know, we just need... So whatever the pettiness is, Brandy, Monica, just resolve it again and truly resolve it. <laughs> you know, just truly resolve it. I, you know, because 
when you know something, when you want something to be shown, or you don't like something about somebody, you will be that type of person. Like, well, I ain't trying to, you know, mess with all this. And this is the real reason why. Because, you know, sometimes people can be sneaky and fake, and they can just, um, and you know how they are, but the rest of the world doesn't know. But hopefully it's not like that, because Monica has always been very uh, vocal, very, ever since she first came out. Even when the whole Brandy and Monica beef had started up, she said it was a working relationship in one of her interviews. So she's always been vocal. And then Brandy has to some to somewhat of a certain degree. But either way, we need our legends to be doing good. Because they are both legendary, no matter what. And, um, yeah, we just need whatever's going on to cease. You know, that's just my whole take on the situation. So if you got any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section below. And I mean leave it in the comment section below because my subscribers is going up. But ain't nobody leaving no comments, no nothing. Like, I'll be needing some feedback, y'all. <laughs> I, I, I can't. This is a one-man show, but <laughs> I need some feedback from my audience. Because I do it for me, like I said, or what I failed to mention in the YouTube monetization, YouTube Better Have My Money uh, video, that this is therapeutic for me. This is a way for me to be creative, to be have my outlet. I know a lot of other YouTubers said the same thing, like um, Product Junkie XOX or um, Big thick chick vlogs and a lot of other ones you can tell who actually doing it for not just the money but like just because it is therapeutic but yes youtube we do need to see our money because even with this i can't even even with this this is kind of an easier way but it's still not that easy because i gotta upload this to because this is off my phone so i gotta put it in a video format to, so I got to put in a video format that when the video finished, then I have to put it to YouTube on it uploads to YouTube. I got to rip that audio off, put it back into the um, video. Mm -hmm. Then that's when I make the real video and not including, you know, if I edit this or whatever. So, yeah, that's just my thing. I'm just rambling going on. All right. This has been your boy, Chris with the next. Till next time. Peace.